have one of these shrimp batteries? Let me show you how to make it charge. Step one. You're not going to like this. So you got to open the case, right? In order to open the case, you got to take these straps off. Okay, you got to take these handles out. So let me show you the handle. Doop, 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 doop. Here's the handle. Do you see this hole? That hole right there. I think. Let's see if I can get some light on the subject. Okay, there's a little bolt inside of here. And I need you to push it out with a Phillips head screwdriver or whatever. When you do that, this part's going to come loose. Then you get the fun joy of taking these two screws loose. Don't worry, it won't come out. On the other side is one pin. Blink, like that. So you get that off. Then you can get to the four screws that access the lid. These are the four screws that access the lid. Now that you've done that, you realize, oh, it won't charge. Okay, I get it. This is the positive lead that comes off of all of the cells combined. This is the negative that goes into the BMS. This is the negative that comes out of the cells. So this is our buffer. And if you're not getting any communication with your charger, buy one of these little bad boys. JVersity, 120 volts to 3 amps. You don't need to go any faster than 3 amps anyways. It's not needed. But now you got this stupid machine, right? And you don't know how it works. That's fine. Nobody has a video that shows how this thing works. So you pick your voltage that you like. I have chosen 71 and a half volts. We're going to go ahead and kick it down to 70.9. How about that? This one does big adjustment. That one does small adjustment. And then you've got your amps. Here's the fun part. Are you ready? Here's what I'll do is I'll usually go grab me a fuse because it's a little less scary. And trust me, it's a little scary. Let's see if we can find a fuse. Doop, 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 doop. Show me where the fuses are. Stop just sitting there on your phone and help. All right, so we're going to grab a fuse. This is uh, much bigger than I need. Alright, got our fuse. Start with one. One lead. Now the other lead. This is going to be the fun part. See, we already set our voltage, right? Now we have to set our amperage. Voltage is just a carrier. Amperage is where you get your power from. So now that you know that, we have to set how much power that we want to put into the battery. And right here, it says 1 to 3 amps. We're not going to go to full 3 amps because I'm not greedy or selfish. We're going to go to about 2.5 amps. All right, here comes the fun part. Do you see this fuse? I have to, I'm going to use another contact so that they'll touch each other. All right, see our voltage? Get ready for the spark. That's scary, isn't it? All right. I've decided two and a half amps is my answer. So I've adjusted it to that. Now we're going to take the positive lead and go to the positive end of the cells. We're going to take the negative lead, drop off Mr. Thank you, and we're going to not put it directly what's attached to this. We're going to bypass the BMS and go directly to the cells. So you ready? There's a smaller spark. Check it out. Right now, I'm currently at 60 volts, 2.5 amps being fed into it. And this is what it looks like. I'm going to post this as quickly as I can because I know there's no videos on it. 